What's going on everybody? Richie here, Hybrid Athletics. Can you outwork a bad diet? It's a very good question. It's a common question within the fitness community. You'll see discussions, forums on it. There's a couple varying opinions on it. I happen to have my own from personal experience. But in order to figure out if we can outwork a bad diet, first we have to say, well, what is a bad diet? Exactly, because people, different people might have different opinions. Some people might eat really, really strict and clean all the time to where they say, if you're eating anything that's not a vegetable or whole food, it's a bad diet, right? Like any type of processed food is a bad diet. Then you got people who are more like me, more flexible with the dieting, uh, who, who don't really care too much about eating processed food, but I try not to get the majority of my food from it. You know, I try to make the majority of my food whole foods, you know, or I'll take whatever is easier sometimes. Let's let's pick a, a pretty bad diet that I think we could all agree on, right? Let's just say somebody ate, you know, candy, soda, chips, and microwave food, right? So pretty much like my diet from high school, <laughs> like no joke. It's pretty much the worst diet you could have. Now, I, I think we can pretty much all agree that this, this is a terrible diet. You know, you're probably gonna be very nutrient deficient, you're probably going to be, you know, you're definitely going to be taking away too much soda, sugar, unhealthy fats, uh, probably not getting enough proteins. You're, you're going to be almost malnourished to a certain degree. Uh, yeah, I would say that no, you cannot outwork that. And uh, But what I mean by outwork that is I don't think that you can put in enough work in the gym to get good results with that kind of diet. In fact, I, I know you can't, and it's a complete waste of time. You're almost wasting your time entirely if that's the kind of diet that you're on. Like I said, your body is lacking the, the nutrients, the basic essential nutrients that it needs. Plus, if you're just drinking soda, you're definitely going to be very dehydrated. You'll survive for a while, and depending on different variables like your genetics and things like that, you know, you'll, you'll survive for a while, but eventually the physical toll will catch up it will be apparent visually and it also will affect you physically. You will probably wind up developing some sort of illness. You could develop diabetes, could develop obesity, a host of other terrible illnesses from eating a diet like that for a long periods of time. Now let's just take away one of those real quick. Let's just say you take out the soda and replace it with water. Can you outwork that? Well, I'll tell you right now, just from making that simple switch, if you're going from a diet where you were only drinking soda and you just do that, you're already going to lose weight. I, I guarantee you could live the same exact lifestyle just replacing the soda or sweet drinks with water. You're going to lose weight. So automatically the diet is completely different. On top of that, because you're hydrated, you actually, it will increase your work capacity. So since you're able to put out more, you're able to put out more work, you will get more results. So... Do I think you could outwork a diet that was just water, candy, chips, and microwave food, something like that, uh, or processed food, we'll say? I I'll say it, it would be very hard, but I think if you put in a lot of work, a lot of work, you could break even. So you could break even. So you, not technically outwork, but you could break even on a diet like that. But then you're putting in a lot of work, you're still not really getting all the proper nutrients you need. So probably the result of that, of breaking even after a while, would be that you would eventually get injured from your body not having optimal recovery. You probably get an injury and that will set you back just as bad as anything else. You know, it's almost like if you were still just drinking the soda and not getting any results, you know, because when you can't train uh, and, and you're still on a bad diet, it's just going to set you back just as far, you know, if not further. I would say let's let's make another real simple switch, okay? Let's just say we substituted out of the three remaining things, the chips, the candy, the processed food. I think we could probably agree that, you know, the chips and the processed food may have some nutritional value, right? You might be getting some sort of benefit from it, and the candy will probably most likely offer, you know, very little to no nutrients at all. So, so let's just say we substituted the candy just for fruit. Because it's really not that far off. I mean, honestly, next time you're really dehydrated, just go to the fridge and just grab, like, when the middle of the night when you're really thirsty or something like that, when you wake up, go grab, like, a handful of grapes. Because I did this, and I ate the grapes, and I was like, 
holy shit, these are amazing. And I thought about like the first dude who must have had grapes and was probably like, fuck dude, this is like the best thing ever. I mean really, it really is like better than candy. It really is. But you should substitute it out for something that actually gives you some sort of nutrients. Now you're getting that healthy sugar, right? You're replenishing your glycogen stores after workouts, it aids in recovery. Now we're, now we're getting to a whole other level here, right? So just by replacing the candy with the fruits, I mean, you, you, you could make gains with this diet. <laughs> you, you really could. You could start making gains with this diet. It's not optimal. It's not optimal by any stretch of the imagination. But we're getting real close, right? So I think with this diet, it's like a 50-50 diet, right? You're getting your water. You're getting some nutrients from fruits. But, you know, you're still eating a lot of chips. You're still eating a lot of, uh, you know, processed microwave food. So, you know, obviously not the best protein sources, best carb sources that you can get or best fat sources, best source, period. If you're doing 50-50 diet, you're probably going to get 50-50 results. So that's where it's like, yo, okay, we're already halfway there. Substitute the chips. I'm not saying cut them out of your life completely. If you want to enjoy your life, enjoy your life. You know, get it in. Everything in moderation. But get the chips Substitute that for something health. Yo, baby carrots, baby carrots and hummus. You're gonna tell me that doesn't sound good. What about sweet potato fries? What about just regular homemade potato fries? I mean, that's healthier than chips. At least there's some sort of nutrients to it. I mean, you could you, smoothies. You make a protein smoothie. You put protein powder. Get your spinach in there. Blueberries. You know that way you're getting your spinach. You make two of those protein smoothies with spinach in it a day. You're getting like all your vitamin A and C for the entire day with, with that spinach in there and those fruits. And that doesn't taste bad. That tastes like a, like a sweet treat. So it really shouldn't be that hard to even get the fruits and veggies. I mean, at that point, instead of just straight microwave and just processed food sandwiches, sandwiches, guess what? Now you don't have to outwork a bad diet. Now you're eating flexible. You're not eating, maybe it's not the healthiest diet in the entire world. You're still getting these things you enjoy here and there. But now you've got a diet where if you put in the work, you could actually make gains from. And that's kind of where I'm at. Where like I work so hard in my workouts. I work so hard. I sacrifice so much to make these gains that I want 100%. If I'm going to put in 100% effort, I want 100% results. I don't want that 50-50 shit. You know, I need 100% results. So that's why I'm making sure that I'm getting all my nutrients. I'm making sure that I'm getting all my vitamins every single day, that I'm not nutrient deficient. And, you know, I'm hitting my macros at a ballpark level. I'm not keeping them exactly to the exact percentile. But, you know, I'm doing high carb, moderate protein, uh, moderate fats. And I keep it around there. As long as I'm hitting that and I'm getting all my vitamins, which I said those smoothies cover, I'm getting 100% of the results. So... Can you outwork a bad diet? It depends what you consider outworking, right? So it's like if you just want to be 15% body fat, just have a little bit of abs visible, and, and that's good enough for you, and you don't really care about optimal, optimal peak performance, then yeah, I think to what most people might consider a bad diet, you could get pretty close to results. But like I said, you risk the result of injury, which will set you back longer than anything because if you're missing out on you know, your proper nutrients, you know, it's probably going to affect everything else in your life from sleep to energy levels. So it's gonna affect your performance eventually. You could wind up getting injured. But yes, I think you could get away with it, especially if you, you're very active and you train hard and maybe you work like a physical, like physically intense job, which I've been in that situation where I worked a physical labor job. I was still training five or six days a week, you know, at the gym in addition to the, to the job where, you know, we'd be outside doing some hard work. I didn't have any calorie restriction. I ate and drank pretty much whatever I want, but I still try to make sure to get my nutrients, and I couldn't gain a pound. Was I outworking the bad diet? Um, I mean, to some people, they would say yes, because I still looked shredded. Uh, I was still able to perform pretty well in the gym, but it wasn't at peak. Now, if you want peak performance, you want 100% results, you need to be you need to be all in on the diet, but I would say, you know, don't be too restrictive. Uh, at least in my case, I'm not very, very restrictive. I just try to get all my nutrients, try to get those macros right, try to stay around my, uh, my baseline calories, and make sure to get those nutrients, and everything seems to work out pretty good for me. I'm hitting, making gains. I'm busting through plateaus, you know. I keep getting bigger, stronger, more explosive, jumping higher, faster, flexible, Everything else, and just make sure to drink your water too. 
So maybe the question is, can you outwork a bad diet? But you know, at a certain point, why, why even try? You know. And then at the end of the day, of course, just do what makes you happy. If your pleasure comes from eating those, you know, those disgusting food or whatever it is, like that's your thing. You know, do what makes you happy, and uh, you know, exercise to try and be as healthy as you can um, for that bad diet. Well, there it is. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, go ahead, leave me a like. Don't forget to subscribe because I got plenty more content on the way. Follow me on Instagram at richie.vi. And if you got any questions or comments, leave them in the box below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Take it easy. I'll talk to you next time.